Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to be talking about the 2024 microeconomics exam. This is question number one from set two. If after watching this video you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. Now this question starts off with a monopoly. We have Arzai Pharma and they have a patent on a treatment that cures eye problems. They're currently profit maximizing and earning an economic profit. Based on this information, we need to draw the graph. Our profit maximizing quantity is Q star. Our profit maximizing price is P star. We have to have our average total cost curve labeled ATC, and we're going to shade in the consumer surplus completely. Our first point comes from having our properly labeled graph with quantity on the x-axis and price on the y-axis. We have a downward sloping demand curve. Mine's also labeled average revenue and price, and we have a marginal revenue below the demand curve. And if you have that there, you get your first point. The second point comes from adding in the marginal cost curve, finding the MR equals MC point, dropping down and marking our profit maximizing quantity Q star. Now remember they don't price at the MR equals MC point, they price up above at the demand curve and that's where your third point comes from, finding the demand curve above then heading over to that Y axis and marking the profit maximizing price P star. The next point comes from adding in the average total cost curve. It must be below the demand curve at the profit maximizing quantity, and it must be at its minimum point where it intersects the marginal cost curve. And if you have that, you get your next point on this graph. Now the final point on this graph comes from shading in the consumer surplus completely. From the price of P star, you head over to the demand curve until you hit the profit maximizing quantity of Q star, and then you shade up to the demand curve. If you drew it all properly, it's that triangle right there. And when you draw this, by the way, it is best for the demand curve to hit the axis. That way you have a clear triangle to shade. For part BI, we have to label the revenue maximizing quantity QR. In order to find that quantity, it's helpful to remember that marginal revenue is the change in total revenue. That means for any of those quantities where marginal revenue is positive, total revenue will be increasing because the change in the total revenue is positive, which means the total revenue must be changing by a positive amount. Where marginal revenue drops below the axis and becomes negative, now total revenue is falling because of the change in the total revenue or marginal revenue is negative. That means revenue is maximized where marginal revenue is zero or where that curve intersects the x-axis. So go ahead and mark that quantity QR and you get your next point. For part B double I, we have to say if the demand curve at QR is elastic, inelastic, or unit elastic. In order to figure that out, it's helpful to remember that as long as marginal revenue is positive, the demand curve above is elastic. And where marginal revenue is negative, the demand curve above is inelastic. And that point in the middle where marginal revenue is zero is the unit elastic point on the demand curve above. Since QR on the graph we already drew is at the point where marginal revenue is zero, that means the demand curve above is a unit elastic. Simply state that and you get your next point. Little side note, if you have a lower quantity, it's going to be elastic here. And if you have a higher quantity, it's going to be inelastic. So you could get a consistency point if you misplace QR. For part CI, we are told that RZI Pharma engages in perfect price discrimination. And we're first going to find the lowest price that RZI Pharma would charge and label that price P2. In order to answer this question, it's helpful to remember that when a firm perfect price discriminates and that firm's a monopoly, the marginal revenue curve is going to disappear and merge with the demand curve above. On the graph, it would look something like this. Now the firm is still going to produce at MR equals MC and they will price at the demand curve. That would give us a quantity here of Q2 and we are already at the demand curve at the intersection of MR equals MC. So we head on over to the Y axis and label that P2. So over on our original graph that we already drew, we're just gonna find the intersection at MC and demand and label that price P2. And if you did that, you get your next point. For part C double I, we have to say what happened to consumer surplus as a result, and we have to explain. To answer this question, we should remember that a perfect price discriminator charges all buyers the maximum price they are willing to pay. That means they are going to be converting all consumer surplus to economic profits for the firm. That leads us to our answer here, consumer surplus will be eliminated because each unit will sell for the maximum price that consumers are willing to pay. For part D, we are told that RZI's patent expires and we are asked if the demand will become more elastic, less elastic, or not change. And we have to explain. Remember, an elimination of a patent is a reduction of barriers to entry. And lower barriers to entry means firms can enter when they're seeking profits. And when firms enter, that means more substitutes. And more substitutes means more elastic demand. So that leads us to our answer here. 
more elastic because the removal of the barrier to entry will cause firms to enter the market and offer substitutes. That makes consumers more price sensitive. And if you have an answer something like that, you get your final point. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the 2024 microeconomics exam, question number one from set two. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up the total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see you all next time.